okay? And then I wasn't updated of the new normal that you need to actually use a face mask. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Anika and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Anika. I'm a registered nurse in the Philippines and also here in the UK. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, then I encourage you to click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button beside it so that you'll be notified every time that we have an update. So for today's video guys, as you can see, well I gotta share something with you first guys because as you all know, I haven't been uploading for like the past two weeks. That is because I moved to a new flat. So you can see my background is different. I moved into a better flat and a, uh, and, a, uh, <laughs> and a place nearer to the hospital. So it's just a walking distance now. I will do a flat tour because this one's really a lot better than the previous flat. And the reason why I moved, um, that's going to be a separate video. So um, for today, I'm filming June 16, and you all know that um, last June 15 here in the UK, um, non-essential shops like clothing shops and what else, not really cafes, but clothing and like um, other stuff, other stores opened. But um, today, <laughs> I'm going to share with you my experience because I wasn't able to go out yesterday because I was working, so I just went out today. And then I wasn't updated of the new normal that you need to actually use a face mask <laughs> to get the public transport. So I just really walked going to town, probably 40, 30 or 40 minutes walk. <laughs> Because I have no choice, I don't know where to buy a face mask. And then when I went home, I booked a taxi. And then you also need to wear a face mask. But I'm so glad he still like um allowed me to go. He just need to like do like something like that <laughs> with my coat just to have a face covering. But now I know this is a big lesson for me that the new normal is when using public transport is actually to wear face masks but not necessarily when you're in the shops so now i'm gonna talk about my experience so um previously right before the lockdown i was able to move and my previous flat was just really in the town center so i've seen the changes before that like it's really a like ghost town like no people around but now it's going back to normal i don't know this i don't know the situation yesterday probably more people yesterday than today but it's not too bad here actually and then i didn't have like to queue for a long time so when i went to town i first went to bilco just to buy some of the stuff for this flat because this flat this flat is unfurnished um i'm gonna also let you know about how much did it cost me to like buy the appliances and all because what's in this flat only is actually the cooker and everything else nothing really so Anyway, so I went just to Wilco and then I went to Primark. Oh my gosh, you know guys, everybody's like carrying a bag of Primark because I don't know, because Primark is really cheap as we, as you all know. And if you don't know, well, Primark is like um, a cheap retail shop, but it's the, there are a lot of stuff you can buy like pajamas and all. So I was able to buy some as well. And of course my favorite shop, TK Maxx. So much sale on TK Maxx. So like in the bag sections, it was really like empty. It's just like probably five bags left that on the sale section. But I was able to buy one and as well as the shoe section. But with the clothes, um, I don't know. I really didn't fancy any, <laughs> but I bought one. I'm going to show you what I was able to buy later on. Then where else did I go? So some of the shops like Salt Rock, Trespass, Mountain Warehouse, Roman, and of course Poundland and all. So, but mostly I spent time on TK Maxx. I don't know. I just love TK Maxx. <laughs> so yeah and then there were a lot of like sanitizers around the shops what else um people keep a distance of two meters that's really um it's really amazing because like right now it's just like a scene to be like in close contact with other people like you would say sorry if like you touch them or that and yeah it's not too bad there's not really like a long queue so yeah Anyway, so I'm gonna show you what I just bought. These are just few, so bear with me. So, oh, right now, because in this new flat, I have a small courtyard. So, <laughs> I was I have some plants in there. So, I just bought from Willow this all-purpose soluble plant food. Just because <laughs> I, 
<laughs> the thing is, whenever I have a plant here, they always die. I don't know. I don't know why, but I really love plants. So this one's just cheap. And what else? Just some shower gels and conditioner. Just because I don't want to go to Tesco or like other grocery shops because there's a longer queue. And then I bought this one. These are removable adhesive hooks. So what what this does is that instead of like nailing paintings or anything you want to hang on the wall, um, this would work and they won't leave any marks. So it's really good. So those are just the things that I just bought. And oh, okay. so I was able to buy in the marketplace as well, like um, garden chairs. So they're aluminum chairs. So excited to like to see this plot. But anyway, so I just bought like cushions. So this one is in Shaw. So guys, if you if you're here in the UK and you want cheap curtains and then rugs, but still of good quality, Shaw's. I don't know how you pronounce it. Shaw's or Shaw's has has <laughs> S H A W S. You might like to go there because it did really cheap. So this one is just two point ninety five. Um. So I got four, so it's just 11.80 something. Well, as in Wilco, four pairs of like this cushions is like 20 pounds. So I almost saved half. So I feel proud. <laughs> so next, of course, Primark. So what I bought in Primark is just um, sandal. Just cause when I'm working, usually we still have a red uh, section of the emergency department so we still need to wear scrubs so i just had i just need to have um undergarment aside from my bra <laughs> and of course i don't know but who doesn't need underwear <laughs> i bought underwear just, i don't know because like it's been three months and you wanted new underwear so yeah underwear <laughs> What else? And some like shorts, just because it's summer. It's getting hotter here already. I think that's, that's it. That's, those are things that I bought in Primark. And now, moving on, let's go to TK Maxx. So, there's a lot of interesting stuff you could buy in TK Maxx from clothes, shoes, bags, home, um, beauty, makeup. Oh my gosh, go to TK Maxx, guys. <laughs> Okay, so first one I bought here is a face massage roller. I don't know. As I've told you before, if you haven't watched my skincare video, I told you that I really take care of my eyes. So I feel like this would this would enhance my skincare routine for the eyes like that <laughs> and for the jaw as well. So this is just 3.99 pounds. So yeah. <laughs> Next one is <clears throat> Hibia um, Q10 Power Anti-Wrinkle Firming. So this is for the eyes as well. So it's just on sale, it's just four pounds. Because the one I have now um, from W3, is it? That brand, um, it's going to run out. So I need to buy an ice serum. Very important. And next, I've got... <laughs> Uh, adulting so I got this one this is just a um for your display in this flat so it's originally 3.99 it's just down to 90p so it's very nice and of course <laughs> I bought a knife who doesn't need knife right so this one is supposed to be 16 pounds it's down to 4.99 so yeah be careful I have life <laughs> So knife. Okay. And what else? Speaking of knife, of course, we have a chopping board. This is a very interesting chopping board because you hear that? It has that texture. I don't know how to slice it. Describe it. <laughs> but it's a anti-slip chopping board. So as you can see at the back. So it has like anti-slip thingy so and it comes in three sizes so it's very very nice it's quite thin but it's not really like super thin because it's still really hard so yeah adulting <laughs> and i don't know am I, why am i addicted to underwear so i bought underwear again <laughs> and what else oh i just bought this clothes this is a very nice one guys it's it's guess 
um, I don't know, it's 129 euro, but I just bought this one in like six pounds. See, so this one is like an off shoulder dress, oh, it's very summery, so yeah. But now I'm not really like buying so much clothes and shoes anymore, more on the stuff here in the flat. I don't know because. I feel like it's a long-term investment if like I'm really going to stay here and you're very tired working so when you go home if you can see your flat and like oh it's very nice like you know the comfort of home that's my focus right now wow <laughs> and last one that I bought is this sh this bags I told you guys that it's almost sold out but I'm thankful I had one left this is supposed to be 45 pounds it's down to five pounds I must say probably those bags that were sold out were this this good like they were really on a big sale that's why it's sold out but still I got a good one so it's very nice I don't know what's the brand hump 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 10 or something hump 10 yeah it's very nice so i guess that's it so all in all it's not like super sale for all the shops here when they reopen because some doesn't have a sale like salt rock i was actually looking for it because i love salt rock but then i said oh there's no sale so like there's no point <laughs> in going but yeah i think that's it for today for my experience so it's not too bad probably because i also live in the countryside i don't know with the bigger cities but i've been uh, reading use like the biggest primark in london they queued for like two hours and so and so so but then i have an overall good experience for the day so again guys um i'll update you more and hopefully i can upload more but i got a busy schedule for the coming weeks so hopefully i still get to keep in touch of you and as always you just um comment below whatever your questions are so i think that's it thank you for watching guys and see you again always take care and god bless us all Bye.